Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So if you're jumping on the sudden mistastic bandwagon wave, then you'll most likely have purchased one of the Helltech V3 LoRa boards with an inbuilt ESP32 chip. Now while it's an okay-ish board to look at, we need something to protect it if we want to take it out portable without wires and batteries all hanging off the board. So we have a few options available. We can either purchase one of the official plastic Helltech board cases, which provides some kind of protection, but doesn't really provide any upgrade paths in terms of battery or antenna. You could design your own 3D printed case, but that takes time and effort if you want to do it yourself. However, another solution would be to purchase a pre-made case from Chris at Zero Fox 3 d Not only does Chris provide you with a high quality case for your Meshtastic node, it also bundles battery holders, switches, and battery wires into the kit. Now Chris has just launched a new product called the Nibbler and the Nibbler Plus, which we'll take a look at later in the video. The first product that Chris had designed and proven to be quite exceptionally popular is the Bender case, and it comes in a few different parts like this. Now assembling it is fairly easy and doesn't take too long. There's a cable assembly included, which also has a power switch and a battery holder for those 18650 batteries. And the blue parts here are for the back and front. The blue part with the hole in the front is where the screen shows through, so we know it's the front part. You also get this cool little white 3D printed tool, which is used for tightening the nut on the SMA socket, which is actually provided. So first we need to attach the SMA socket carefully pushing it through the dedicated hole on the main black case part. And once in place, we just put the two washers on and then the nut and then tighten that nut using that supplied tool. You can then plug the small battery connector into the battery socket on the underside of the Helltech board, making sure not to have a battery installed at this point as we need to plug an antenna on before we apply any power. You can now push the Helltech board into its location just be careful not to put any pressure on that display itself, otherwise you might crack it. Once in place, attach the little IPEX connected to the Helltech board. You may need to use something like a small screwdriver so that you can apply the pressure to the right spot. Now you'll hear a little click or feel it once that IPEX connector falls into place. Next, we need to take the power switch and push it into the switch hole on the front panel. Once pushed in, you can now push on the plastic 3D printed switch part. Now this will act as the main power switch, turning on and off the power to the Helltech. Now you can carefully push the front panel on. This clicks into place and might be a little difficult at first, but with care, you'll get the front panel into its location. Next, attach your antenna. An antenna is not included in the kit, but you can purchase these quite cheaply from places like eBay or Amazon. Now insert the battery, ensuring to insert it with the correct polarization. Then just clip on the back panel as you did with the front. To turn it on, slide the switch and your node will power on. And there you go, a brilliant quality desktop case for your Helltech Meshtastic node. So next we'll build the brand new case called the Nibbler. The only real difference between the Nibbler and the Nibbler Plus is that the Nibbler comes with a small flat LoRa antenna which actually fits inside the case, whereas the Nibbler Plus has an SMA socket for an external antenna, like we saw on the Bender case. So first we'll insert the battery like this into the rear with the printed side facing towards the middle of the case. The battery wire just pushes through the top like this. Now at this point, we may as well fit the rear panel as this also includes a belt clip, which is kind of handy. Now this just slides on like this. Now attach the included antenna to the Helltech board via that IPEX connector. Again, you may need to use a tool to help click that connection into place. Again, just be careful not to put any pressure on the LCD while you're doing this. And the recommended battery, which you have to purchase yourself from Amazon, has a larger connector than the Helltech board has. So included is a little cable which converts the plug size down suitable for the Helltech board. Plug this into the battery and then plug it into the Helltech board. 
As always, you should only connect power on these boards with an antenna connected, which is why we attach the antenna first before attaching the battery. When pushing the Heltec board into place, insert the USB-C socket end first, then just carefully push down on the right side until it fits snug into its location. Now just above the LCD, you'll notice a little compartment which has been designed to slide the included LoRa antenna into. Now you don't have to remove the protective film from the sticky side of the antenna if you don't want to, but you can if you want to, to keep it in place. Although there's not really much area it can go if you don't want to do that. You can now go ahead and attach that front panel, taking care to push the edges until they click into place. The last part to attach is this little end plate, which allows you to attach the included wrist strap. Although you don't have to attach the wrist strap if you don't want to, but you do need to attach this end plate using the included bolts. You'll also find an Allen key in the kit, which is used to screw in these bolts into these pre-fitted nuts, which are located inside the case already for you. As with the Bender case, you'll have access to the two push buttons on the Heltec using these buttons on the left side of the Nibbler front panel. Now last up is the Nibbler Plus, which as mentioned before, uses an external antenna. Therefore, we need to attach the included SMA socket to the little end plate first. Push it through the hole and then place the washers on. Attach the included nut and then use that little hex tool to tighten the nut. Then take the belt clip part and push onto the bottom of the end plate like this. Ensure that this is completely flush once it's pushed together. Now insert the battery the same as we did before with the battery text face in the middle of the housing. Push the battery wires through to the other side and then slide on the rear plate like this. Grab the end plate which has the SMA connector on it and then feed the little coax cable which has the IPEX connector on through the hole that's in the case. Using the two supplied bolts, you can now attach the end plate which has the SMA socket to the end of the case, but don't tighten it all the way just yet as we still need to attach a front plate after installing the Heltec board. Now carefully push the IPEX connector onto the Heltec board, again using a hard tool to help locate that connector in place until you feel or hear it click. Now at this point, you need to attach the external antenna which you have to supply yourself as mentioned before. Attach the little adapter battery cable, which converts the plug type to the battery and the Heltec board. Now the Heltec board will most likely turn on, but don't worry as you've already attached the antenna, so no damage will happen. Tuck the excess battery wires into the little cavity and then push in the Heltec board, starting with the side that has the USB-C socket. Once in place, you can now push on the front panel carefully clicking it into place. Now once in place, you can now tighten those two bolts that are holding the end plate. They go through the casing and hold on the front panel as well. If you wish, you can attach the wrist strap, but other than that, that's it, the build is complete. So there we go guys, that's all three models made and now ready to use. Kudos to Chris at ZeroFox3D for sending me these awesome cases. Now they do ship worldwide, so if you're outside of the UK, don't worry, you can still order these. And I would suggest heading to the Zero Fox 3D website for more information about ordering and price. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that. Until next video, stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.